good morning from Quito, Ecuador. Hayden and I are out here. Good morning, friends. Today we are going to climb a volcano called Ruku Pichincha. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that wrong and not getting anyone offended by that. People light me up in the comments when I say something wrong, like, you're not a local. I'm just like, sorry, bro, I know I'm not a local. <laughs> but we are heading out. All Trails has this hike at six miles round trip and a 30,000 feet of elevation gain, which is obviously wrong. We're only doing, I think, 2,500 feet. Been in Quito for two days now. I think yesterday was our first full day. And if I can turn this around and show you, I'm gonna take an Uber over there and then a cable car up to 12,900 feet. And then we're going to hike to the top of the volcano at 15,400, I think. We are here in Ecuador to climb Cotopaxi, which we are doing later this week, and hopefully we summit. You guys will see a video on that as well. But Hayden has been training in Jackson Hole, which it kind of ranges from 7,000 to 10,000 feet on what he's been doing. I've been in Colorado, so I've been between 5,000 and 13,000. And today, this volcano we are going to climb is 15,400 or 500, and we're hoping to get an awesome summit in. There's some cool scrambling at the top, and then we're also hoping that this is a really good acclimating hike for Cotopaxi. Um, so fingers crossed, the weather is kind of saying different things depending on how you look at it, but hopefully all goes well. We are finishing up our packing right now and then heading out. <laughs> our entire room smells bad. Hayden, Hayden just did some messed up things into this place. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get your foot spray out, dude. <laughs> of the Tellerifico, 10,200. We both have super heavy packs because we were packed for a climb. Kind of feels like a mixture of Vietnam, Hawaii, and Peru up here. And Quito, if I had to best describe it, feels like a mixture of Lima and Cusco, Peru. Really cool place. Whew, feeling the altitude for sure on that little step up right there. You feeling? I feel all right. <laughs> it's good. We'll be soon. Let's get a big bite. You're disgusting, bro. Top of the cable car at 12,900 feet. Is that what it is? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> we just fucking summoned a 13er. <laughs> Did your ears just pop? Yeah. Wow. So we are starting our hike up to Ruku Pachincha. Super weird starting a hike at 13,000 feet. Obviously feel the altitude right away. This is, if we make it, gonna be the highest elevation either of us have been at in like three years. You can see some hikers where we're going. Senderos. Ah, 
we feeling overall so far? Feel really good. Feels like just any other Colorado 14er. But honestly, the air is a little thicker, which is really nice. The weather is a lot better than any 14er I've ever done, which is really nice. So I'm feeling really fucking good. The real test will be after 14,000 feet. Way, way above Keto. Down at 9,400. Pretty rad. Inching closer and closer to 14,000. I believe that's the way up Ruku Pachincha. Don't think that's the top, but getting up there, moving pretty quick, it feels like. Just broke 14,000 feet. For sure out of breath as we go up, but honestly feeling pretty good. We are at 4,309 meters. Whatever that is, we're above 14,000 feet. Some steep sections and then some good flat sections or gradual, feeling really, really good. Can't see much, as you can tell. We're kind of been in a whiteout the whole time, but what's most important is that we're acclimating for Cotopaxi. We've only been hiking for like an hour and we're like two thirds of the way. It's 11 a.m. because the cable car, the first one is at 9.30, so we got one of the first cars. And we're gonna try to summit well before two, which I'm sure we'll get, uh, just in case there's thunderstorms or lightning for safety reasons, get down before that. If you're researching this hike, we're not gonna be taking the Paseo de la Muerte. We're gonna be taking the sand slopes around the front side of it, I think the north side of the mountain, because the passage of death, it translates to, looks like some class four climbing. Uh, there's definitely a knife edge. We're in a whiteout, we don't know the route. We're not with a guide or anything, so we're just gonna take the safer option up. Following the ridge line, that's the passage de la muerte, so we're going around it. Check, 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 mic check, check, check. check, take one. Mic, mic, check, Ecuador. So for this trail at the Telerifico, top of the cable car, highly recommend taking photos of the kind of map of the place and downloading all trails offline map. Cause we just took the turn off, it's pretty obvious, but I think it's cause I researched the route a lot. So it definitely helps because if you end up on that route and you've never scrambled before or been on class four, it could be very dangerous. higher than anywhere in the lower 48 the states which is pretty cool highest have been since i was in peru in 2018 with brie um trail's muddy wet it's not raining but we are for sure in a white out some fun scramble sections playing tag with everybody else on the trail So good to be back in South America. I fucking love it here. And these mountains are my favorite. Feels good to be out here with Hayden. Just freaking sending it in the Alpine. It doesn't feel, feel like we're in the Alpine. It feels like we're in like Costa Rica or Guatemala. <laughs> like there's plant life everywhere, which is so cool. We are on the sand slopes where we read at this point, pick your way just up and the sand is Classic two steps up, one step down. Very slick. <laughs>
just summoning volcanoes in Ecuador. <laughs> no big fucking deal, baby. Good to be up here. You can't see a damn thing because of the weather, but feel great. Last time I was at this altitude in Peru, I had splitting migraines, which I, was the first time I had those in my life. First and only. I feel great right now, so great day. We made it. Mountains just came out to fucking play. What just happened, bro? <laughs> we were ready to leave the summit. And look at this. Looks like somewhere in Middle Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty chill hike, honestly, the whole way. Um, it's just like pretty mellow and gradual. Then you kind of get towards the upper portion. We got socked in by clouds and you kind of get scrambly at sections, but it really wasn't that bad. Uh, a lot of good hand holds and uh, it's been freaking beautiful up here. The clouds finally opened for us for maybe 10 seconds and it was insane. So we're really grateful that happened, but uh, now we climb down. When the clouds cleared, neither of us know if we got anything. So <laughs> yeah. that might just be a you heard it, but you didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> We are still hiking. Feels like we've been up here for a few days, but really we've just taken 5,000 photo and video stops. Um, fucking amazing. You can see Keto down there. I just got like five awesome time lapses looking down on Keto. This has been an amazing day, amazing hike, amazing climb. I feel incredible, so it makes me feel much better about Cotopaxi. Gonna head down and if you are not already following the channel, please like and subscribe because Cotopaxi is going to be a sick, sick short film. Please like and subscribe. It's really fun, really beautiful. I love Ecuador. Having a blast down here in South America. It's nice to be hiking again and not be cold and dry and, you know, all that fun shit you get in Jackson. I do love it, but Ecuador's been really nice. We felt really good up at 15,000 feet, so like, save, comment, guys. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to save the video, too. <laughs> Screen record it. Yeah, <laughs> use it as your own. <laughs>